Thoughts and prayers. The words just fall out of our mouths at times like this, don't they? When someone tells us about a horrible diagnosis, thoughts and prayers. When we hear of a co-worker's passing, thoughts and prayers. When we see a post about a friend's divorce, thoughts and prayers. When 19 fourth graders and two teachers were killed in Uvalde, Texas, thoughts and prayers. When catastrophe strikes and we don't know what else to say, thoughts and prayers. Following this latest shooting, I read an article that blasted conservative lawmakers for their all-too-familiar thoughts and prayers platitude. The writer basically stated that the reaction was empty and meaningless. Needless to say, this isn't the first time I've seen an indictment like this. I've heard similar sentiments countless times in recent years, not only from the media, but also from fellow Christians who claim that the offering of thoughts and prayers is not an adequate or effective response in the face of unspeakable tragedy. And i got to tell you, I completely and wholeheartedly disagree. Prayer is absolutely central to our faith. Throughout Scripture, there is a myriad of examples when prayer is the immediate reaction to all kinds of calamities. Time and time again, we are urged and even commanded to pray. So you see, when we have no other response, what else can we do but pray? And when we know exactly what we should do, what else can we do but pray? Prayer is the most powerful tool in our toolbox because we have a God who promises to answer these prayers. Therefore, offering our thoughts and prayers is not only more than adequate, it's also the most effective response we can give. However, simply saying or posting thoughts and prayers is not enough. You have to actually do it. I mean, would you tell someone you're bringing dinner and then never show up? So why would you tell someone, I'm praying for you, if you're not going to pray? Look, it doesn't have to be long and involved. For me, I say a quick prayer as soon as the conversation ends. Prayer is powerful. So pray. But let me warn you, when you, expray, when you pray, expect an answer. And sometimes that answer is you. I once knew a woman who watched a 2020 segment on the horrible conditions of orphanages in Romania. When it was over, she remembered praying, God, somebody has to do something to help these children. Then she realized that she was somebody. So she and her husband went and adopted a child from one of those orphanages. Dear friend, as Christians, we believe that our Heavenly Father answers prayers. They are not meaningless words or a thoughtless platitude. Sometimes prayer is the only way that we can effectively respond. But then again, sometimes those same prayers push us to respond. I'm Pastor Stephen Mims, and that's your word for Wednesday. May God bless you.